Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can use alert, console, prompt and confirm in JavaScript. So let's start with this. So we have an HTML structure here. So I gonna remove this line to avoid the confusion. So we have here messages and then we have h1 tag messages, right? So if you will see on the browser, you will get something like this, right? So we will have the script tag here inside of it. We will be writing the JavaScript code. But before that, let's start with the alert. So we have one button and I'm going to name it alert. And then we have on click event inside of it. I'm going to uh, define, I'm going to call a function so alert fun this is the name of the function so once we will be clicking on this button then this function would be called and we need to define that function here so here is the keyword function then we have to name it alert fun and we have the code inside of this function so we are going to use the alert to display the message so alert message all right so what uh, what i did uh, actually i have created a button uh, the label is alert and i have a function inside of it so once i will be clicking on this button then this function would be called and the function definition is over here so this code would be executed inside of this function so let's see the output here is the alert once you will click then you will be getting this pop-up with the message alert message right so this was the first thing that we learned next is console so for example we have one more button console now we have named it console and we have on click and we are going to name it console function all right so we are go going to define one more function here console fun then we have uh, we are going to write console log so message here all right console message here so what i did i created a button and the label is console and i have uh, called a function console fun once you will be clicking on this button this function would be called and here is the definition and inside of it whatever would be the code that would be executed so here you will be knowing about that what's the role of this so if we will be clicking the refresh then if we are clicking on console then we are not getting anything so how we will be getting the message which we have uh, which we wanted to display so you need to click on right click and inspect and then on the developer console you will get the message so this was the message that we wanted to display on button click so this is the message all right so that message you will be getting in developer console for example you are clicking this one this one you you will definitely get the message here right two time three time four five six so all the messages would be displayed over here so this is called as console all right then we have the third thing which is prompt all right so on click p r o m p t prompt fun i am naming it prompt fun so once you will be clicking on this button this function would be called and I I'm going to going to define that function here prompt fun and here we have the here we, we can write that prompt so prompt inside of it we have to write a, a message for example prompt message right 
so let's see so here you got prompt so once you will be clicking over it you will be getting a uh, pop-up inside of it you will be getting a uh, input box so what does it mean uh, sometimes we require such type of prompts in which we get the input from the user so for example I am writing here hello and then clicking on ok so that means some input we got from the user so let's let me tell you how you can uh, how you how you will get that input so we will be assigning this uh, prompt to a variable variable message so I have the variable name message so I am receiving uh, that specific input to this message and then I'm gonna gonna console this how we will be getting the message we have two ways we can alert that and we can console that so the best way is to, to console.log and this message variable whatever would be the value that would that we can get in the developer console so let's refresh this and I gonna clear the console and then I am going to prompt it uh, once you will be clicking on the prompt so this is the label that we have here prompt message alright and here I am going to write hello world so if you will click on the OK then you need to see over here yeah we got the input which was hello world so in this way you can get the input from a user alright so for example I am going to cancel it so what will be returned null alright so here you got the value null so that means user has not entered any uh, input alright so one more thing you can do you can also pass a parameter here so enter something so what does it mean it means that if you are going to refresh this and clear the console and clicking on prompt so this would be a uh, field I mean uh, pre uh, already the you will be getting this field alright so you can remove this and add something else all right you can add it and something and then after you will be clicking on ok and then you will be getting this uh, input value over here all right so this actually gives uh, helps us uh, the auto field value I mean default field value default value would be filled over here all right if you don't have required then you can remove this and add a new value key right so you'll be getting that same so these are the three things that we explored up till now so next is confirm that is also an interesting one c o n f i r m confirm so again i'm going to write the on click event so confirm fun all right so again i'm going to define a function here function confirm fun and then inside of it uh, I need to write confirm so inside of it you can write a message you are sure so if you will display here when you will be clicking on confirm then you will be getting this pop-up which will be showing you only two buttons so here is the question you are you are sure so if you will click on ok that means you are uh, giving the response that yes I am sure otherwise you can click on cancel so how you will be uh, getting the uh, input from the user so you can actually assign this value to a variable here variable now here you can write user input all right and then you can just console log it to see the value so here is user input all right so what you will be doing is once I am refreshing this I am going to clear the console and then I am gonna click on confirm then I am going to click on ok so you can see that this is true ok means true so if I am clicking on confirm and then clicking on cancel 
and I am getting the value false. So that means true and false. On the basis of these values, we can get to know that what the user has clicked. All right. So here is the confirm again, true and false, right? So these are the few things that I uh, tried to explore with you so that you could uh, know about all the three ways to display a message as well as to get the user input and other things like confirm as well. So I think uh, you got the understanding of whatever we have learned so far. So let me uh, give you, uh, let me summarize all the things. So we explored four things here, alert, console, prompt and confirm, right? So in the first button we had alert, alert message we already uh, know about that uh, uh, once we are clicking this button then we are getting this executed. So this message would be displayed, right? As a pop-up message. And next was console. So that is also the way to uh, show the message. So that would be displayed in the developer console. And third one is prompt. So prompt is just helping us to get the user input. So how we will be uh, able to know what user has entered, we can actually assign to a variable. And then uh, if you have required to send somewhere, then you can uh, do that. But for now, we are only getting the message, uh, getting the value into the message variable and just we are interested to know about that what was the value so in that way we can actually uh, show in the console developer console the value of the variable then we have the confirm fun so this is also the function we have uh, defined for confirm uh, confirm so confirm is just helping us to uh, get the user input in the form of yes and no so if user will uh, click on OK, then we will be getting true value, otherwise false. So let me do here again, alert means alert message. OK, then we have console, then we are getting console message here. Third is prompt. So that means we are getting some input value. And that input value we are getting here. So if you are interested to add your on and clicking on it then you are getting the in value the new value otherwise if you are canceling this then you will be getting null and the third fourth one is confirm so that is in the form of ok means true and cancel means false so i hope you got the understanding of all the four things that we have explored in this video and uh, in the coming videos, I will definitely show you a lot of other concepts which will be fruitful for you. So, see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. All the links of my video courses are below in the description, which are absolutely free. So, in the next video, we would learn new and wonderful things. Please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos. In the comment section, you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any. Have a nice day ahead.